Hi, this is David of Inspect Canada. During our home inspection, if we come across a garburetor, also known as a garbage disposal, we always recommend our clients to get rid of them. They break all the time, they leak, it's a bacteria trap, fruit flies comes out of there like crazy. And also this drain here at your sink, it's the dirtiest drain that you have compared to a shower or, or, or a sink in the bathroom. And then you're throwing even more garbage into it. There's all kinds of people who puts the wrong items in there. It clogs up all the pipes. Did you know it costs millions and millions of dollars every year to the city of Vancouver to clean out the pipes because of that? That's why you don't see that in Vancouver, especially on new build. It's basically, it's old technology. People don't use that. You're supposed to dispose of your food properly and recycle everything. So today our goal is to remove this garburetor, refinish the plumbing properly. I might replace some of that here because I think we have a little bit of leakage here and there as well. And then, so I'll film the whole thing. I'll show you guys how easy it is to get rid of the old stinky garburetor and just refinish the plumbing properly so that you keep your pipes nice and clean and healthy for the long run. So I'm gonna do a little bit of measurements. I'm gonna head to Home Depot, get the material I need for this, and uh, I'll show you how easy you can do it yourself. All right, so I'm back from Home Depot. I got all kinds of pieces. I needed a little piece like this to hook up the dishwasher line to it because it's hooked up to the garburetor right now. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff. I've got some glue for the ABS. I've got some plumber's putty for when we put that at the top under here we'll add some um, i need my little saw because i'm gonna have to cut this over here um, but the first thing i want to do though is i want to disconnect this plumbing from the garburetor because if i take this garburetor out it comes down it's pretty heavy it's gonna break all this plumbing right here so it's not super friendly access right there but i'll get to it i'll disconnect it Taste this garburetor out and start rebuilding this whole system. But the first thing is, as always, disconnect the power. We don't want to play with anything that has live power on it, especially if there's water involved. So uh, give me a few minutes. I'm going to disconnect this, take the garburetor out, and then we'll jump on to the next step. Now we need to disconnect the dishwasher line. And now I'm gonna take this right off. All right, so here we have it. See how nasty it is in there. So now what you do with this is you grab and you throw it as far as you can. So I'm gonna go and install this. So this is how it looks from the sink. We need to clean all of this, some old caulking in there. So we're gonna take this apart. I'll take the back out. This goes under the sink. This goes from the top. It's gonna go under, it's gonna go just like this, but over here, I wanna put some plumber's putty first. Oh, this one actually comes with a nice rim, but I'll, I'm gonna add a little bit of putty anyways. Plumber putty looks just like that. Some kind of soft paste. Take a scoop out of this, roll it between your fingers so you can make a nice straight kind of little tube so you can run it all the way around here. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna put it all the way around. This is just an extra protection because it does have a nice little ring here. But when I squish this, it will squirt out and then we'll clean it and we'll have a really good seal connection. So I'm gonna put that right in there. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on. I've got the putty right here and I'm gonna squish it. But when I tight it, from under with these bracket here it's gonna really kind of make it super nice and tight okay so let's go under the sink and let's finish this off so now i'm gonna cut it right here i'm gonna add 
this piece to it and then I'm going to replumb this section. I'm going to use the ABS glue. You want to put it on the male and on the female as well. So at Home Depot, they sell short length of PVC pipe, so you can just buy a three footer. I cut a little tiny piece here. It's gonna go right under here. Then I'm gonna throw my elbow right there. We're gonna put a piece across and I'll be pretty much it. So now I've got all my pieces connected properly, all glued, everything's nice and solid. I only need to connect the line for uh, the dishwasher. Unfortunately, I do not have a collar with me right now, so I'm gonna have to hit Home Depot and get one, but uh, it's simple enough. We'll just squeeze that there, and then I'll show you in the sink above how it looks. So right now I'm filling up the sink. It's about halfway full. We find that we catch a lot more leaks when the whole pipe is filled with water. If water has to come back or anything like this, it will leak. So let me drain this for now. And let's see if we can catch any kind of leakage. absolutely nothing right now so uh, this was a very nice and interesting project if you do have a garburetor at home consider getting rid of it because it leaks it smells it's it's not, when someone when something falls in there nobody wants to put their hands in there to, to, to pick it up uh, it, it's completely useless and as you could see here we have about $40 worth of material from here to about there so it's super affordable. We didn't really have any specialty tools whatsoever. A little bit of glue, a little bit of plumber's putty. Uh, and right now, this took me roughly, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes or so, not including the trip to Home Depot, but uh, you probably saved three to $400 right there. Uh, it's cheaper to replumb it properly than installing a new garburetor if it's broken or if it's leaking like they always do. So, as you can see, it is something you can do yourself. It's actually fairly easy and uh, it takes no time, no tools. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell so you get notifications whenever we post a new video. We're absolutely thrilled that you're watching our videos. We're super grateful. Thank you so much. Until next time, have a beautiful day.